Hello everyone, what's up? Marriage and Hanukkah episode 10! Wow! And yes, today's episode, oh my god, I think we're getting to the more darker aspect of Hanukkah now because you know last week post credit scene we get to see, well, Hanukkah twin, a younger twin evil brother, he has some blood drawn on the board, he seems so evil and he's speaking to a figure that looks like Mitsuba. Oh my god, that is just so creepy from the post credit scene and I say, wow. Okay, so are we really gonna get into the more darkest uh, aspect of Hanukkah now? Now, I am excited guys and of course as we, last week episode let's just say Nene was carelessly enough to being captured by you know, the Dr. Hanukkah and you know, having some tea party with Sakura in the end she got drowned tied up to a chair and got drowned to some sort of world where you can go to any door and to any door world the, the life between life and death of course the world between life and death so you can say there's some lot of comedy between her and the uh, the boy, I forgot his name, to be honest, I don't really care about much about his name. Um, well, let's just say, you know, he need to go through doors and then in the end he got clumsy enough to be captured by one of the monsters from the door. And then Nene stumbled across the door that looked like a classroom. And then she stumbled across, you know, Hanukun crying, the young Hanukun before his death, of course. And apparently he was crying and stuff like that, although she wasn't able to figure it out, but she managed to pick up the rocket key chain or something. And so Hanukun saved her and then hugged her for saying apologize for destroying the donut. And then everyone, everything's fine again, but she decided to hide the, the key chain from him so yeah it seems like Nene still want to like find out how and what how we supposed to say Hanukkah and what's his backstory because we get a slight idea of with his te teary eyes that maybe something bad happened between him and someone else so yeah looking forward to today's episode because I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get into the, the more darker aspect of Hanukkah now because I am excited for this and of course I'm excited for, excited for more drama regarding to Hanukkah's backstory maybe we get to learn even darker truth re uh, right regarding to Hanukkah why he's bound to the toilet after so yeah, without further ado, let's get started with reaction, shall we? Okay, position, let's get started with reaction, shall we? Okay, let's just check out today's episode and see how well, getting to the more darker aspect of things, or are these gonna stay like wholesome, like with every episode where we can see, you know, Hanukun or Nene deal with different situations of in school. Uh, you know, spiritual stuff of course. So yeah, here we go in three, two, one, bam. Seriously, the thing I really love right now with Jipaku Show and Hanuru Kun is that it's been quite inconsistent with this release time. Like, last week was 9 a.m., now it's like 5 a.m. I was like, when I woke up this morning around, I think by the time I'm recording this video, it's like around 7 a.m. This was actually released like around 5 a.m. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So, yeah, there's actually like zero consistency in the release time of Jipaku Show and Hanuru Kun, but I mean, we can. Maybe because it had to do with the the production issue with the Hanuk the release of Hanukun English sub, or maybe because um, the people were just getting too late lazy with the subbing of the anime. That's why they decided to like release the sub at different times. Yeah, I'm kind of fed up with this inconsistency of the uh, uh, release of the subtitle. But well, what can we do? It's their decision to release the subtitle after all. So yeah, obviously the, the opening is now available for full download online, you guys can go and download it online now. Although I would say that I would rather listen to it like on YouTube for the time being. It's not the sort of song that I would like listen to it, like really into it, unless like... Unless, I, uh, unless like I'm studying of some sort. Or because like I listen to this in during exercising in the gym, I just got bored of it quite quickly so... Yeah, it's a good song though, but I think it's something that you listen to it while studying. <laughs> hey, here we go. The Hell of Mirrors Part 1. Oh, it's a continuation series from for the next episode. Nice. So we have a continuation series. Hey. Spirit Photography. So it seems like we have another one of those mystery uh, solving case of a mystery of a school and of spirits. Mm hmm. What the? Oh, what the hell are those? Hey! Wow! What the hell, photobombing man, <laughs> hand photobombing, okay. <laughs> Look at all those hands photobombing. <laughs> they grow. 
What gross? Really? Wow, so creepy in there. Uh huh. Uh, okay. So I need to sort the mystery of foot's hand for the bombing. Oh, there you go, the hands. Yeah, what the, what the hell is going on, man? This is so creepy seeing the hands growing out of the ground. It's like zombies, man. It's like zombie hands coming out of the ground. <laughs> I actually didn't have no time. Go for it. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure he won't be Dajiobu. Haha. Ah, wrestling! <laughs> really? Hey, you're gonna lose. Yeah, why on wrestling? I know, right? Well, yeah. Oh! Okay! Bring it on! Beat him! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, I felt that! Oh, shit! Oh, I felt that! Yeah, I kind of saw it coming, to be honest. <laughs> hey! So he disappeared. Oh, okay. So their regrets is being redeemed. Um, yeah, their desires of that resolve the desires. So yeah, all the hands need to make sure they have the desire to accomplish. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, that arm could be a very powerful person. Ah, how adorable. Fired up. <laughs> oh, oh. Fired up. Hanukuna, what? <laughs> Jealousy. Hey. After that. Playing, playing with the hands to satisfy them. Well, I would say it's actually kind of creepy though, but yeah, at least he's doing the job. One more hand. Dude, the hand sticking out of the mirror is just kind of like reminds us of some sort of horror film. Mm hmm. Well, 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 why isn't it Misuba, the one that actually died? Wow, what ha what's happening here? Oh! Oh, holy shit, that just gave me goosebumps, man. Dude, that just gave me- oh, and she got dragged into the mirror. No. Hey, and he's gone. Her hands too slippery. And she got dragged into the mirror world. Yeah, she got dragged into the mirror world. I don't know why this kind. Of, this kind of seems like it's a purgatory sort of uh, horror movie sort of scenario. If I pronounce the movie name correctly. Yeah, she got dragged into the spirit world inside the mirror. <laughs> hey, the world of hands. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, whoa, no way. I thought he was vanquished. Oh, so he's still alive. Okay, he's under illusion. He's under a, a illusional control. Hey, whoa, I, Mr. Ba, I thought he was vanquished. Okay, so he's still alive. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is so nene. 
<laughs> That's so nene. No, Vern, Vern, <laughs> Savage. Oh, dead. <laughs> Ah, uh, insult, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's not bold, he's just gonna drag you around, okay? A door. Mm hmm so wow so there is a nice side to this uh, spirit world what is this endless ho um hall museum of spirits hell of mirrors apparently mm hmm Oh look, he's fading away. Yeah, he's a ghost. Well, to be honest, he, um, Cole met him before. Yep. There we go. Now she remembers. Oh, he's trying to be a Sundar. Eh? Through the mirrors. Ah, uh, okay, so the hand came to the rescue. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's me to fall right. Mm -hmm. He showed up. Well, he was expecting Cole. I'm pretty sure he was expecting Cole. But yeah, Nenis has to do it for now. Obviously, you cannot say no to a puppy eye. You cannot say no to a puppy eye, man. Aww. Senpai? Oh, Kokoro! Right at the Kokoro! <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> serves you right. She was like, ha, serves you right. Ha 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 ha. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I doubt she knows much about Vangeries. She gonna be- she gonna fail as the senpai. So... <laughs> she's doubting him. He's doubting her. Ah... <laughs> uh. Ah, uh, Nene Theater. Yeah, Nene Theater, you want you. Daisuke. <laughs> that is Nene, so Nene. <laughs> that. <laughs> Nene, man. She's such an entertaining character to watch. Oh! Koa Cause she knows she's being involved with Hey, it's, it's Oi Wait, that's Oi Whoa, what? What's going on? Yeah Okay Don't tell me she's actually the 
Who the legs? Again with the legs. Oh, ho, ho, yonder lies. Wow, is that actually oil though? Or is that just a uh, spirit tamper playing with her? With some like fake illusions of oil. Oh my god. This is psychological torture, man. Wait, is that actually oil or is that. Is that just a uh, spirit uh, taking the form of oil just to, you know, torture Nene? I'm pretty sure it's just a spirit pretending to be oil and torture her. So apparently, this is like the third um, wonder of the school. Uh huh. Good li living world. Uh huh. So, if you have a strong heart, fear, ugly in the heart. They got trapped in the world of fear and ugliness. <laughs> <coughs> it's kind of straightforward to be honest. Just have a very strong heart. Well, Nene in this case. <laughs> hey. Yeah, since that Hanako knows about it too. Since he is the captain after all. Hey, uh, how adorable the rabbit is giving the book to him. Mm hmm. Yeah. Put dep depending on the perception on spirits and stuff like that. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. Dirty. Yeah, I get it. Dirty. Mm hmm. Daikon legs. And there you go. She got tortured by Daikon legs. People insulting her about her Daikon legs. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> Oh, the, oh my god, torture, man. Hey, go. Dude, they even brought Daikon with them, too. <laughs> hey. Okay. And guess it's gone because he's a spirit after all. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, I think the reason because he's already a, a, a dead being already, so he won't respond to you. And, or maybe he had no memories. I mean, I've yeah, I guess he got his memory got wiped out after the incident back in episode eight, I think, nine, seven. Uh, episode 8 or 7 <laughs> Break it Hey she's back All the way up Where? There? The exit? Uh huh. Oh, okay. So that's the Yoshiro. That, in other words, it took that away. They, it's weakened. The, the, the third wonder, um, the person in charge of third wonder. Was <laughs> Oh, 
How do I look good? Oh, at least that temporary memories. Hey, everything just gone creepy. Dude, everything just gone 360 creepy. 180 creepy. Hey. Oh, ho, ho. Oh dear, here we go, the spirit attacking her. Hey, so is that the true form? Yep, that's the true form. Well, I think that's the true form. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. That boy made a piece of spirit. Oh wow, okay. Defective goods. Defective goods. Mm -hmm. But your looks are oh, seven uh, at best. Oh, the oh seven, eight to nine, four. Oh, oh, dead, dead, dead. Oh God, A mirror servant. How creepy. Hey! Wow! Guess this turn got uh, quite creepy than I thought. And she's captured. That goes <laughs> over! Hey! Oh my god! Oh! Hey! Well, at least he's saving her. Run away. He ran away. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and he got captured that easily. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, she's a goner. She knocked her out. Yeah, she's knocked out. She's knocked out. Let me get someone. Oh, hello. Good. Wait, don't tell me that's not the. Oh, is that the dark hello cocoon? I think that's a dark hand gun. That's a dark one. Yeah, that's a dark one. Oh. Hey. The evil twin brother is the one that saved the day. And there we go. The real form. The true form. Apparently it's an ego. Hmm? Hey. Oh. Brutal as always. Oh, brute! Oh, ho, ho! Ah, uh, well, what do you expect, man? What do you expect? And is he dead? Oh, knocked out. Oh man, what do you expect from Dark Hunter Gukun? Yeah, you're alive. Of course it's alive. She's the main character after all. Well, yeah, we get to see his face in the last half post racing. I thought he was just uh, an illusion creative, but I guess it's actually an actual Misuva. Yeah, that's an actual Misuva. Seems like these two just developed some bond. Yeah, it seems like after the incident in episode 8 or uh, 7, they developed a bond. Wow, okay.
Wow, okay. Damn. Interesting episode. And obviously this is just part one, man. This is just part one, so next this is gonna to continue to the next episode. And obviously, I mean it kinda of obvious why it's still part one because Nene haven't even escaped the prison the uh, mirror prison yet. So damn, Dark Hanokun enters the world and smash the third wonder uh, the the person in charge of the third wonder badly. I think he killed either killed him or knock him out. I think he pretty much knocked him out though. But damn, look at this man, Hanokun. <laughs> damn the uh, once those eyes turn black, it's basically bad news. It's basically bad news when it's the, once those eyes turn black. So yeah, I don't is see like one of those typical um, spirit that one goes around hurt uh, beating up spirit or in this case maybe because Mitsubaru was in trouble, he sensed it so he came into rescue. So yeah, Dr. Hanukun, he couldn't he what well does it say he's like one of those Spirits, I think, doing things the uh, the aggressive way is the better way to solve the situation, and he's basically the bad news once he's involved in some sort of like spirits and um wonders and stuff like that. And you can see firsthand that he basically knocked out the third wonder, and of and although he said that oh Nene you're alive, either he meant the the fact that he drowned her from last episode and oh you're alive I thought we I drowned you or. Oh, that 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 spirit crush your crush your ribs and you're still alive. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, Nene is the main character. Obviously, she won't die. But yeah, it seems that Hano, uh, Dr. Hano Kun, she seems happy about it. But I mean, I'm pretty sure he seems happy about it because like he wants to toy with her more. Yeah, I can tell he wants to toy with her more to pun to you know punish Amane. I mean, Yugi, the Dr. Hano Kun, he wants to punish his old, older brother mentally, so he, I think he's happy to see Nene's alive because, like, oh, you're alive? Good, because I can use you for, as a play toy for more of my stuff, my related torture and stuff like that. So, yeah. Good, good news, bad news, <laughs> we shall see, of course. Um, so, yeah, it seems that Hano Kun and, and Mr. Ba, it seems that they're both being good buddies from this case ever since that incident back in episode. 7 or I think it was 7 and 8 um, but yeah it seems like you know ever since that incident they became good buddies well more like more like me talking uh, Yugi I mean uh, Yugi like you know he, he's being more like a, a uh, like a maybe like a master and Mr. Bai is like a servant and Mr. Bai has basically been stuck in this world with, because of uh, of course Hanukun so yeah, it seems like Hanukun, Dr. Hanukun is more like his like um, senpai now, and he's his protector. But yeah, this mirror world, I have to say, so... Apparently, uh, uh, um, the perception, the mirror goes according to how, how you see in your heart, whether you, you have fear, you have brave heart, brave heart, uh, people that can pass the trial, um, uh, people that have a lot of fear and love dark uh, in her, their heart, in the darkness, well, they're stuck in the world, of course. And of course, they can show you the fear too. And of course, I, I, I yeah, like I, I for a second I thought that Oi was actually the one, the third, the third wonder of this world. But it turns out that she, you know the spirit took the form Oi just to like play, play some mental games on Nene. In this case, play right into her their mental game, calling him Daikon, ugly Daikon, and stuff like that. Oh my God, man! Seriously, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is so creepy, man. Those eyes, man. Those are what you call a yonder eye, man. Those are what you call a true yonder eye. Damn. Oof. Wow. This episode is kind of creepy because you know the thing is about mirror spirits stuff like that. I'm not. Uh, it's, it's been used a lot in horror anime in the horror movies. It's, I think mirror related horror related movies tends to work well though because like you know if your mirrors tend to be reflection and stuff like that is some uh, spirit popping behind you uh, uh, taking a form or something in front of the mirror uh, uh, play with your perception yeah I, I to be honest if any horror movie relates to mirrors I guess like I, I here's a funny thing about me with mirrors if there's like a mirror if, there if there's a mirror right in front of my bed like literally like facing me right when I'm sleeping I will change I would ask for a change in bed position because literally sleeping right in front of a mirror is actually a taboo it's actually qu kind of creepy um yeah to be honest sleeping right in front of a mirror is actually really creepy though to be honest so i was I would, so yeah because i because i've seen like couple of mirror related horror movies before so that's why 
So yeah, it seems like the mirror managed to toy with Nene in the end. And although Mr. Ba, uh, uh, although Nene has a lot of, uh, have like a lot of like memories and so that Mr. Ba apparently he has an amnesia. So obviously the mirror doesn't respond to him. But in the end, oh my God! In the end, in the end, he got um identity judged by that by him, and then he they were, he was about to like, crush them to death too. So wow, okay, this this. This scene right here really t took a toll to how serious the show can be. Dude, he literally crushed Nene's scripts, man. And internal organs, too. And, and obviously she's still alive because maybe because she got protection from Hanokun. She's a mermaid or half, or half fish after all. So, damn. This is taking a new turn of, cre of you know, seriousness now because now we get to see firsthand how this show is going to approach this for the future future series i mean this is part one after all so part two from what I can, if i can predict for part two they uh, dark hanon kun yugi he gonna use this bit mirror world to play more games with nene he gonna like torture nene more i mean you can see from last episode he kind of like torture put her in the chair and drew about to drown her so knowing yugi i'm, a, I'm a yugi he he gonna try he gonna do something very sinister to nene he next up because like you know he they're still in the mirror world. This is only part one of mirror world. Then they need to get to the the Yashiro to weaken the mirror world so that she can escape. So and Yugi knowing him, he gonna like somehow and um, stop Nene from doing so. Wanted her stuck 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 in this mirror world for a long time, torture her, maybe get um, like lure Hanokun in so that they can have a, a brother to brother fight or something. Something will happen to Hanokun when if he enters the mirror world. There's no mystery, no question answer for the next episode because I can because this is part one. Everything that sometimes sometimes when series have uh, part one, part two, it gets into like the serious side of things now. So wow, I mean, surprisingly, Mister Bus still alive because you know you kind of trapped him in the mirror world. To be honest, I thought he was like van van vanquished back in like the episode at six, at seven, eight, but I guess he's still alive after all. So yeah, it seems like things are getting to a very dark turn now, like I said. And ov obviously, next episode, we're going to see part 2 of the Mirror World. And maybe, just maybe, we, c we can see the fact that Harukun can actually get in some bigger trouble. Because, like, you know, sometimes in the Mirror World, um, it things get very um, sinister and stuff like that. So yeah, really looking forward to it to the next episode. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to give it a like, share, 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 share